but like my the most pivotal like, moment for me was I was like, I was in Thailand and I was in volunteering at an orphanage when I was in the military and to them paper is a commodity and it's something that they don't want to waste on art so I had to teach kids how to paint on napkins and they made these little cartoons and I just knew like right there and there like art is like a visual expression but it's also like this emotional experience that you can give to other people through your art or just like teaching them about it. I believe in half a chance. I believe in like spontaneity, especially with like painting and sculpture. And sometimes a, a mistake is a, a happy mistake in a sense. I like to just relate back to antiquity. Look back at, you know, master artists, but you know, master artists are chosen, you know, kind of by circumstance, by luck. But the Mona Lisa, what if you didn't want to be famous for that piece, but now you're, everyone knows you for it, but you hate that piece. And you're, you know, so I try to look back at like antiquity for some guidance, but I, I want to be an individual. I want to be expressive in my own ways. Uh, the physicality of art is my favorite part about art. I love that touching the stone and like you can feel like the presence and its aura inside of the material. Even rubbing my hand on top of a canvas and prepping myself emotionally to paint on this canvas, or even after I've painted, um, sometimes you have these real rough canvas spots or these rough thing, you know, rough sculptures. And, you just touch it, and to me, that physicality is more important than materiality. I'm kind of tinkering around with the idea of just continuing school and going back to like med school and being a doctor, and how can I influence people that way with my art, and how can I, you know, so I don't know if I'm, I, it's not just a terminal idea for me, it's something that is going to be progressively happening until I die. The idea of being like a tortured, sad, depressive artist and being you know, I just, I just want to be an artist and be living in poverty. I think that's a false idea. And my path as an artist now, what I wish to accomplish is that, like, I want to break that cycle. I want to show you, you can do whatever you want. Art is a life way, like a way of life. It's how you live your life.